The Fulpra cargo bike combines high cargo volumes and robust engineering with the conveniences and smooth riding characteristics of a bicycle. Not just any bicycle, but the biggest and most powerful of its kind. That's very practical. But what should you be aware of when riding this bike? In this video training, we give you tips and tricks on how to get around safely and with ease, so you can confidently take the road with Fulpra. The Fulpra bicycle is much larger than a regular bicycle. It weighs considerably more, and it has an electric drivetrain which powers the rear wheels. The bicycle has a maximum speed of 25 kilometers per hour and a range of 30 to 40 kilometers, depending on your load. With a dual battery setup, this range doubles. The Fulpra cargo bike offers the largest loading capacity in its class. It can accommodate up to 3,000 liters of cargo. To increase comfort and safety, it is equipped with sliding doors, an adjustable saddle, mirrors, indicators, and a parking brake. The unique tilt system, together with the auto-shifting pedal assist, makes any turn, bridge, or slope a breeze. The tilting front end allows for stable transportation of large quantities of goods, while still maintaining the ride comfort and maneuverability of a two-wheeler. In addition, at just over 3.5 meters, the bike's turning radius is much smaller than you might think. Walk around the cargo bike before taking off and check for possible damages or defects. Report these to your maintenance partner or the person in charge within your company. Check the tire pressure at least once a week for optimal use and range. The tire pressure should be 2.8 bar on the front tires and 3 bar on the rear tires. Remove the battery from the charger, open the battery compartment under the bike, and slide the battery halfway in with the connector facing the correct side. Align the notches of the connector with those of the battery and tighten the connector until you hear a click. Fully insert the battery and lock the battery compartment again. Then, stand next to the bike. Lift the bike to an upright position, turn on the ignition, and wait until the battery symbol on the display stops flashing. This takes about four seconds, then the bike is calibrated. Be aware, never do this with sideways tilted handlebars and make sure your feet are not resting on the pedals. Did this happen anyway? Then restart the bike in the correct way. Does the display show an error? Then check whether the battery is properly connected. On the left side of the handlebar, you will find the controls for the lights, indicators, and the horn. On the right side, you will find the controls for the display and power management. A USB port is located beneath the display to charge your device. The clip on the seat post makes easy adjustments to the saddle height possible. In the beginning, it is nice to be able to reach the ground with your feet while cycling. We recommend adjusting the saddle to hip height when you feel comfortable doing so. This may feel higher than you expect, but it makes for a more pleasant seating position. Adjust the mirrors right away so that you'll have a clear view of what's going on behind you. Wearing a bicycle helmet improves driving safety and, depending on your company or country, may be mandatory. The Fulpra bike can be loaded in different ways. You can use the side doors, but also the special loading door at the backside. This rear door can be opened, just like the side doors, using the push button and the handle, but swings all the way until it locks into the magnet on the side of the bike. This gives you a larger access space and allows you to place your goods in the cargo area using rollable containers. Placing or removing these rollable containers is done using the ramps located at the bottom of the cargo area. You line them up with the notch in the floor and make sure they are secured. After placing the goods, you secure them with a push bar. You place the push bar in the rails on both sides until it clicks. Now you can close the back door. When doing this, make sure the handle is down so the door can close properly. Press the top and bottom corner with your hand and knee to ensure a tight fit. After this, the handle turns and should fit smoothly into the lock. Last check before heading off. If the red light on the left side of the handlebar is still burning, then the back door is not closed properly. If you do start cycling, the horn will also activate to warn you.
Before you drive off, set the bicycle to the desired power assistance level. This is done with the arrow keys on the right side of the handlebar. The different power modes, from Eco to Turbo, determine the level of electric support. You still have to pedal yourself just like on a normal bicycle, but there is no need to change gears. Check if the parking brake is fully down and lower it gently if necessary. Position the pedal so that you can easily apply power. Do this every time you set off. Before you hit the road, check if the brakes are working properly. It is advisable to always use both brakes, especially in an emergency stop. The unique tilt system gives this tricycle the maneuverability of a regular bicycle. It takes some time getting used to, but you can be confident in the fact that the bike will not tip over and is very maneuverable. Try to ride the cargo bike like you would your own bicycle, and you will notice that it is actually very easy. Once on the road, it is important to keep the dimensions of the bike in mind. Suddenly swerving for other traffic can be more complicated. Where you can normally use the rule of thumb that your rear wheel follows the path of your front wheel, you must now take into account that the rear of the bike is a lot wider and longer than you're used to. So keep some margin on both sides and watch out for curbs. When riding, it's best to imagine a cube the same size as your bike a few meters in front of you. This way, you can assess if certain situations could become tricky. Instead of using your front wheel as a guide, it is better to use your handlebars. If these fit easily through a tight street, alley, or curve, then the rest of your bike will fit too. If there is enough room, overtake other road users with a wide turn and without a big speed difference. Other road users can turn unexpectedly. Remember that cyclists or pedestrians often don't assume that such a large bicycle will pass them at great speed. You've probably heard it before, but it's very important. Priority is not something you take, it is given. Even though in most situations you are entitled to priority from the left, check and be sure that a fellow road user has seen you and gives you the right of way. You are traveling with a large and heavy bicycle and don't want to startle other road users. Do you have to wait for a traffic light? Then join at the back of the queue and be sure to not block other road users. You are taking up more space than other cyclists. Slow moving traffic can be overtaken as soon as you are on your way again. In addition to watching carefully what is happening in front of you, it is good to know what is happening around your bike too. Start anticipating early on, especially when cornering or turning. Check your mirrors to make sure you are not being overtaken. Use your indicator in advance to show that you are about to turn and, when leaning into the corner, look over your shoulder to make sure the road is really clear to pass. That way, you won't have any surprises. Don't forget to turn off your indicator after turning. If you suspect that a road is too narrow to pass oncoming traffic, it is better to choose another route. In the unlikely event that you find yourself in a situation where you cannot continue, you can turn the bike in two ways. The first is to stand in front of the handlebar and push the bike backwards, which gives you a better overview of everything behind the bike. A second option, if you have more room, is by tilting the handlebars and turning them completely to one side. In this position, the bike has the smallest turning radius and spins smoothly around its axis. This is the easiest way to make a U-turn. The Fulpra cargo bike is perfect for use in busy urban areas. But these areas don't always consist of smooth stretches of asphalt. You'll encounter speed bumps, potholes, and curbs that you'd better approach with caution. After all, these are not only bad for your bike, but can also damage your cargo. Finally, you should realize that this professional cargo bike serves as a driving business card. Thus, antisocial driving behavior not only has a negative impact on your image, but also on that of your company or employer. Once at your destination, park the bike so that you do not block other traffic. For example, place it close to the side of the road. Keep in mind that you should still be able to reach the cargo area, or, if you are using rollable containers, for example, that you are still able to get them out of the loading bay easily. It may also be the case that you have to park a little further away from your destination. This only costs you a few extra seconds, but it saves other road users a lot of frustration. Therefore, start looking for places to park your bike a few seconds before you reach your destination. 
In some situations, it is best to use the parking brake. Squeeze the right hand brake and push the parking brake lever all the way up. The braking force of the parking brake is then at its maximum. Lower the hand brake gently to drive away again. And are you in a busy area? Then always lock the bike and the cargo area. After your ride, it is your responsibility to leave the bike in a clean and tidy condition. Check and report any unexpected damages and leave the loading area clean and dry. Lock the bike, take the battery out of the bike, and connect the battery to the charger. Always make sure the charger is completely discharged first. This means that the charger must be unplugged from the power outlet until no lights on the charger are illuminated. After this, connect the connector to the battery and finally plug it back into the outlet. Preferably, charge the battery completely full before you disconnect it from the power and put it into use. This is best for the battery and the range of the bike. Thank you for watching this Fulpra instructional video. We wish you lots of riding fun and safe miles.